Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about all the different environment variables that are available to you in GitHub Actions. And that's not just the GitHub Actions environment variables, but all the ones that the container is going to give you as well. You can head over to the GitHub documentation page and find a great deal of information about the various variables that are available to you and your scripts when you work with GitHub Actions. But you know what? This isn't the whole story. Definitely take a look at this. But if anybody asks me, what are the environment variables that I can use in my scripts? I tell them, you know what? Go to your action and actually ask the environment, ask the Ubuntu image, what all the different environment variables available to you are. Now here's a little shell that I've created earlier. There's not much going on here. I'm gonna delete the ls command that was over here. I don't need that. Um, I've got this little shell script that I previously ran. I'm gonna delete that and I'm just gonna write one line of code there, one command, e n v. And if you run that command, you'll get a list of all the different environment variables that are available to your application. So it's worthwhile just creating a basic YML file, basic YAML file that pulls from the container that you're going to be using and then just type in env and then take a look at the output. And I think you'll be surprised to find out that there's a lot more variables at your fingertips than just what's listed on this page here. So I'll head over, take a look at this script as it runs. That means going to the actions tab right here. You can see it's running currently. I'll click on it, get into the build section. And it was in that single line script where I typed in ENV and look at this. There are about 80 different variables available to you. Of course, you see all the ones for Git, right? So you see GitHub API URL, you see GitHub repository owner, you get GitHub actions. All of those are documented over here on this page, but the container is giving you a great deal of information as well. Everything from the Gradle home to the Javel home to the runner tool cache to who the user is that is actually running the command to all sorts of things about Selenium, Chrome, and all of the different uh, all of the different tools that are involved installed on your system. You see the Homebrew seller right there. You see Ant Home, the GitHub workflow that's getting getting used. So these are all the variables that are available to your scripts at runtime. That includes everything that's included inside of that Ubuntu container, along with everything that GitHub gives you through GitHub Actions. So if you wanna see what all of your environment variables are, everything that's available to your script, that's how you do it. You just type in ENV into a temporary script and take a look and see what the results are when you give it a run. And there you go. That's how you figure out what environment variables are available to your GitHub action scripts. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, GitHub actions, DevOps, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.